you got to work the body. Starting off at the neck and the ears and all around, slowly and meticulous. And then you can go in for the kill. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Hey, yo, what up, world? What's good with y'all? Hope you're doing very well today. I clearly am. As uh, you can see what's in front of me, it's like, how can you not be doing well when you got this in front of you? I got the full rack of beautiful ribs that I put TLC, tender love, and care into, but you saw that. Um, the crispy-ass potatoes, and my homemade whipped up kind of like sour cream aioli type sauce just a look in the fridge see what you got come up with a sauce type thing and you know what i was going to be all like you know my sauce is the best and uh, i'm only going to promote me using it but and then i was just like how can you go wrong like i need ketchup on some fries potatoes i don't like crispy potatoes fries whatever you want to call these home fries they're out of control though i can tell they're already going to be insane let's just get into this it's going to be messy delicious and we're just going to chop it up and chat a bunch and once again, very excited. So, before we do anything, we must grab our iceberg. We have a security breach, iceberg security breach, above the bow of the boat. Today we have the Diet Cherry Pepsi going in. Let's touch that berg. It's a glorious moment, this is, as we watch the fizz live its best life along with me and you and everybody else the fountain is popping I will say that the fountain of youth on a cherry Pepsi is seemingly less than a Dr. P but we must now of course see what the first taste is all about
Ooh, that's a heavy ice pour that time around. It's also a nice ripe cherry in there. Notes upon notes of elm bark cherry trees. Those are a real thing. Look them up. Where do we go from here? I think it's fairly obvious that we need to have a rib before we have anything, right? Move our sauces to the front because they encroach, encramp, it's not a word, on my style. That's a word. Okay, well, as per with any thing, bread, pizza, meats that have like an edge or a corner, I mean, those are usually a really, really, really good bite. Really good bite. So. It's a no-brainer that we must start there. That's my red face. Okay. Should be a nice messy one today. I would imagine, but we'll see if I can keep it dainty and proper. I'm just blessing out here for a bit, guys. Ribs are just one of those, it's like, they take a long time to begin with, and you're like waiting around and just, you know, anticipating, and then on top of it, like, the filming and everything that I had to do, and just all the, like, all the work that comes with it. So this is going to be like a need to enjoy moment. So perfect. I thought of I might have over cayenne them in the rub stage. Not true. They're okay. There is a bit of heat though. But it's nice. Okay, I have to do one more. And then I must get my ass into these crispy potatoes because I've never made potatoes like this before in my life. I stumbled upon this one YouTube dude. He does a lot of food stuff, but um, he's very scientific. He's kind of like an Alton Brown or a Kenji Alt Lopez. Can't remember the channel name, but he's got a bunch of viral videos, and one was about like why your potatoes aren't crispy enough or how to like double crisp them or whatever. And I just remember watching it thinking, I have to try those sometime and today's the day. And they're so easy, not difficult at all. You just peel chop whatever, you know, shape or whatever you want. I went with three different ones. I went random, oblong, coins at a point, kind of like this guy. Oh, that guy fused together, but it's kind of like some coins. And I did some more like fingerish ones. But 
but this one has been calling my name. And then so you cook them. Look how crispy and golden that is. Come on. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so you like par-cook them so they still have a bit of firmness. So you can't have them too mushy. But so that they can be pierced and penetrated. And then you toss them in baking powder. And I added Parmesan cheese to mine. Which I think is a genius bro level next move. That this other guy didn't do. And then you just fry them high heat and oil. Mm -mm. That's crazy, bro. That is crazy. This aioli. The spoon's just causing me more trouble than I need. But yo, that Parmesan crust. This aioli is out of control. Sour cream. This like roasted garlic stuff that you like crank out. Black pepper, some pickled jalapeno juice, pepperoncinis. Laughing all the way to the bank. Dipping while I have the pre done ones. That was for show when I was plating. But you guys know a potato belongs very well in ketchup, so. We must. Ridiculously good. If you notice, I'm eating kind of slow, but That's because this meal right now, I'm telling you, is one to savor. I want to make, have my, my weight with it, you know what I mean? I want to really do my thing in the bedroom here. That's for my guys out there. of a sexual tip. Take your time in there. Warm her up first. Don't be selfish. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. It takes women a lot longer to get there than us, most usually. You can't just hop in the car in the winter when it's been minus 30 out and expect it to go right away. That's like a lady. She needs to be helped along, worked on. Where is this conversation going? But it's true. It's, it's helpful for you guys. You do it out there. Lesbians know what's up. Because they're both women. They know what they, they need to do. But if you want to get her going, boys, you got to work the body. Starting up at the neck and the ears and all around. Slowly, meticulous. And then you can go in for the kill. 
and try to uh, end up at the end together. You know, it's a nice happy story. Okay. Off that topic. I'm always conflicted about talking about kind of like sex or sexual things to you guys in like more detail. I'm down to tell like hookup stories in like funny ways where I don't really say anything too sexual. And there's going to be all the dudes who are like, this guy acting like he knows how to get ass. <laughs> I do. At a, by a certain age, it's just inevitable that you're going to know these things, most usually. Unless you're having a real hard time out there. Which I... You know, that sucks if you are, but you can fix that. It's not as difficult as you think. Confidence. Don't be needy. Don't be too interested. Let her come to you. Chase you. Women get enough uh, enough dudes coming at them all the time that They don't need, they want, they don't need another dude just being corny trying to pursue. When you're the mystery, that's when the intrigue occurs and then you become pretty much irresistible at that point. If it's like, okay, he showed interest, but he's like not really that interested. Like he's not chasing me or anything. He's not like being over bearing or over flirtatious. And then they're like, hmm, that's different. I never like to pretend I'm an expert in any topic because I'm not. I've just lived my life and kind of my experiences and I know what's occurred with me and what has worked for me, so... I did not expect this video to go down this lane at all, but I do like advice videos. It's fun to try to help people out with your experiences that maybe they haven't 
you know, got to that point in life yet or haven't really had any success in that arena. And if you could shed some light, then that's cool. And while we're on the topic, we're going to have to shout out, shout out, <laughs> Jen is always hungry. Hello, Jen. I'm privy to your and sauce queens. situation <laughs> now now let's all be civil here okay plenty to go around <laughs> as I have ribs in my teeth but yes I've been informed that Jen is always hungry Always shouts me out, is a big um, supporter. I won't say fan, but supporter of my channel. And uh, I've watched a bunch of her videos as well, and she's very funny. I know in real life, if we had a couple of drinks, be cracking a lot of jokes. She's a funny girl. I can tell. She has a big personality. Same as me, same as Sauce Queen. Just a couple of, or a few, if we're using technical terms, a few is three. A few, no filter loud mouths. We think we're hilarious. <laughs> Is that a Gemini thing? Are you guys Geminis? Anyways, check out uh, Jen is Always Hungry. I don't think I need to tell you to check out Sauce Queen because I feel like her audience and my audience are probably, like you guys probably all know who she is, would be my guess. But if you don't, check her out. She stays very, very saucy with, with, with the food. like that bite right there. I'm going to have this last rib here on the end. I have to save these two for a special someone. I promise I would. These ribs were out of control good. I gotta tell you. I can cook, man. <laughs> Not to toot my own, my own horn, but I'm gonna have to. Because those were really good. They all were really good. Everything. I wouldn't lie to you. And in fact, this cherry Pepsi, really the icing on the cake. Perfect. Complimentary. Meal fit for a king. 
who wears a toque as a crown. Till the next one. You know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true. Thank you.